I did record some White Stripe solo episodes. It became so outdated. Like, okay, one thing that I did was I talked about the election. Sorry. And then it happened. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! <laughs> and then it happens. <laughs> and I'm like, damn. I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> You were you had a podcast yeah. during election. Yeah. I mean the day before election and you yeah. felt really hopeful. I did. And then I wanna hear it, but you don't know if it still exists yeah. or I can send you some of it when I You know, you don't have to if you don't need to. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I was pretty depressed on that day too. I don't, yeah, I I don't have to. I couldn't do any of my work <laughs> on the day. So here so here's my election story so i'm yeah. so just i don't know if it's okay for me to say this but i'm not a registered voter oh i don't know i'm that. not a registered why would it voter? not be okay for you to say that i don't know i feel like there's a there's a stigma for my generation uh you know if you're not registered we're part of the same generation i mean exactly <laughs> just kidding. like do you feel like i did something wrong by not register i feel like okay. i i I personally, I don't think you did anything wrong. But I, but I, I didn't do anything. Because, <laughs> because that's the deal. Because I know you. Okay. But I think there is this general idea that because you're not a registered voter, you didn't, you're not part of the change, quote unquote. Yeah. So therefore, you're part of the problem. Yeah. I. I. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, the reason why I'm not registered is yeah. because... How come? When... So, I scheduled for my registration, right, for Comelec. Yeah. Then I got COVID. Oh, damn. Then I got COVID. So, so it was the last two weeks and then, you know, they were... So, it was when they extended it. Yeah, I remember that. Because I actually did it before they extended it. Yeah, you did it then. So. And like it was like the last day or last two days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But in that span of time where I had planned to register because, you know, there was a whole pandemic. So I was yeah. like, I wasn't going to register because I might get COVID. And then when it was easing out, I was like, okay, I'm going to register. Then I got COVID. So I'm uh... like, but I don't like sharing that story. Well, now I'm, I don't know how now, I now feel. You are. I don't know how I feel about <laughs> it now. <laughs> but, but I remember hearing from one of my mentors before. Yeah. Now, they were like, don't complain about politics if you're not a registered voter. I, I've heard that. I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. if you didn't register, you know, don't complain. Yeah, but I don't. Here's the thing. Like, while it's a huge part of the process of democratic voting, like it's huge, it's not the only part of the democratic process. Yeah. So I think that like, and I know that you wanted to, that's the thing. And I am going to register. And you're going to register. Man. Because, not, because register, it's opening again, so. Yeah, yeah. and it's not like you didn't believe in it yeah. and that you didn't want to do it or you didn't actually want to vote for someone. Like I know you really wanted to. Yeah. So, but like, I just feel like, if that happens, there there's context to it. Yeah, there there's def- context there definitely to it. Is context and to like it. it's not an excuse because you know we could do better, but at the same time it is different when yeah. you understand the context behind why yeah. someone couldn't do something. Yeah. Compared to just oh it's black and white. If you didn't do this, you're you're bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. like Yes, things could be better, but at the same time, you have to understand context to why things are. So, but it's you know, in the, on the internet, yeah, there's no make, such thing as context. How, how does that make you feel though? The fact that like you you feel like you can't share it because you feel like you might be like attacked by it, even though I know you like you 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 have the heart for it. Mm. You've been wanting to do it, but the, but you couldn't. And yeah, you can say like, oh, you should have done it earlier, blah, blah, blah. Like there's a million things you could say. But like, how does it make you feel that like... You know, I, I told that to someone and they blocked me. Are you... See- oh my... Yeah. <laughs> I was like... Uh, All right. But we were talking about like the elections and stuff. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, who are you going to vote for? Whatever. Yeah. 
and we had just met so you know just new friends yeah, okay, sure. and then and then they're like oh, who are you gonna vote for and i said i can't vote because oh, i'm not registered because yeah, yeah. i got covid so yeah. i'd like to vote for for lenny but right but i, I can't so yeah you know so and then after that day i just got blocked interesting i know so like that's the thing like like that's because okay for example which one's which one's better and which one's worse right because for me like i wasn't as loud as you were that's the thing you were louder than i was but yeah. i was able to vote yeah so does that make me a better well, citizen it was <laughs> it was it was my sort of like i can't vote so i'm gonna do whatever i can exactly. to sort no. of just i don't know so you did a part you know what i mean like yeah and but you were louder than i was i wish i was louder to be honest but like I tried. I did some stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that was out of my comfort zone, to be honest. But you were louder than I was, and you campaigned more than I did, right? So does that make you less of a supporter? Than you know, I don't know because it, it does. What what matters to me is that um, the the reality is right now is that Marcos is president. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you heard that right. So and seeing the discrepancy in the voting and then yeah well i'm not gonna say that it's a fraud election i but i do believe that 31 million people did vote for marcos or at least 30 or at least like, 30, at least 30. Yeah. i don't know but it for me it was more just like no, i believe it too how because i know i know that the people that caused this are people who are like like young people yeah like us yeah. like um whoever campaigned for the marcuses knew like did so well on on tiktok and youtube and like i actually looked it up like i went to the youtube of oh my God. Of, of bbm supporters yeah. and then so grab me ang grab me na ano na ng yeah. extent na campaigning nila na i just you know what i realized they were good with narratives to be honest yeah like a lot more than yeah lenny supporters yeah in terms of like compelling narrative yeah once you have a story that works yeah and once you believe in a story it's kind of hard to move away from it it is kind of hard to move away so from that's it. especially the, if it affects you directly that's the know? sad reality yeah, that's of like sad. how and it's not just philippine politics that's like world politics in general well, but, I don't know much about politics, so maybe you have a more, like, a better opinion yeah. about it. But the, it's just what I saw on. You know, it was it was really it was really weird because I I live in Makati, right? So yeah. I spend most of my days there, and and it's such a it's such a Lenny city. Mm. Like it's a very very like most of the people there that you will really like you that you see like okay. Like out on the street are are very vocal about supporting Lenny. All right, and and you know that's where the rally was. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. And then that's where everything was. And it was such a disconnect from what was actually going on. And the rest of the and Philippines? the rest of the world, like the rest yeah. of the Philippines. Like, that's true. It was such a. You felt like you were in your own bubble. It 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 it, it did feel like I was in a bubble. Yeah. Like, like I knew something wrong. Or something was gonna happen during that. Yeah, time. that that's that's that true. I, I tweeted a bit about it. I I talked about the the Twitter bubble that like just and it was hard for me to say it because of course I wanted it to be hopeful, but I I just thought I had the feeling that like you know what just because I see a lot of it on my feed doesn't mean that a lot of people are actually yeah gonna support you know what yeah. I mean like I had a friend that. Um, she's not part of like Philippine politics or anything. Like she's not. Yeah. She's not attached. She's American, all that stuff. She was like, like wow, a lot of people are like, supporting Lenny. Like wow, it's so, it's become so strong. Right? <laughs> and like if you look at it on your social media feed, it looks like that. Yeah, it looks like it that. looks like that. But yeah. in reality, when you look at it in a broad sense, when you think about not everyone has the same algorithm that you do, you just think okay, like it, you can't assume, you cannot assume because like even the the there the, the, campaign was so strong yeah. you know what i mean so i assume that it'd be something similar but 
yeah, you can't just trust what you see on your feed to be the truth. The, yeah. the quote unquote majority. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, but um, it's it's so easy to say a lot of people are saying. Yeah, 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 exactly. When it's just your or like, wow, so many people are changing their profile pictures. And yeah, like, yeah, you know. But when in reality, it's maybe like fifteen people on your feed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's it's not as it's like fifteen people, and they're reaching out to like another like fifteen, and then that's yeah. like what. Is that? Yeah. But that's not a lot of people in yeah. the broad context of every. When, when you think about the whole Philippines, yeah. So. Yeah, so anyway, what we were talking about elections. So, elections. Uh, so on that day, on election day, so I couldn't vote, right? So, yeah. So, but my my girlfriend did. So. Oh, so by extent. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, not that's not what I meant. I know, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So after she voted, we went out on a date, and I was like, "So how how was it? How's experience? Yeah. How was?" And then she was saying that in her precinct, it was mostly Lenny. So. Okay. She was pretty happy about it. She felt hopeful. And I was like, okay, so we went out on a date. Right, right. And then um then the next day. Sorry, the next day I couldn't do my work. The next because the the results came out, right? Yeah, because yeah. during election day I actually was doing work while we went out on a date. Right, right. And okay. then so the next day we I woke up and then I, I looked at the numbers and then I was like, no way. <laughs> no way this is Bro. this is happening it's wild and i was like sitting down on my wild. I was sitting down on my desk and i was like are you serious I, like, are you serious yeah like, dude for real so I, yeah yeah and i remember messaging g i was like g i can't work i i cannot work today right like i what did she say about it shut it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yep yep it's true it's like mm -hmm. cannot work today uh, uh, like we'll finish what we can finish I'll finish what I can finish, but just yeah, process. Yeah, process it. Yeah. Just like do whatever you know you need to do. If you're gonna whatever, yeah. just if you feel so strongly about yeah. it, right? So yeah, and then so many like movements, I guess, happen. It happened like that right. thing in Lima San Bonifacio. Yeah. And then, you know, planning to show up at the Comelec office, planning to walk out because people think it was a fraudulent election. Yeah. And, and then sort of over time, so over time people, well, I, I don't want to say, I don't, I don't want to say people because, you know, it's just, when I say that, I feel like it's just the people that I see on my feet. Well, okay. over time, like I started to personally realize now, okay. They won this election. The Marcus has won this election because of the power of social media. Social media, like, and they're just their their machinery. There's just machinery. The political machinery that they it's have. It's just like it's crazy. TikTok, bro. YouTube, Instagram, like they they got the numbers. They got like the the right minds behind it. Like yeah. So so in my head, like I don't know what, I, bro. It's wild. Man. Like I don't know. It's very wild, right? Like. Like if you think about it in the context, like is that what democracy has been reduced to? Like the, for a lot of the world, yeah. You're right. Like yeah, is that what voting has been reduced to? The fact that you can just like say, oh yeah, this person is more. Well, I mean that's the point of campaigning. Yeah. I guess you know, but uh, I'm I'm starting to not believe in it anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's tough because um. And I I posted about this on I think I posted about this on my my dump account right yeah um I remember because I voted kind of late in the day I was there at like three I ended up voting at like four thirty so it was pretty late in the day or like five ish um I was there for like two hours waiting in line I I felt so much hope because in my precinct there were so many young people voting okay so I was like I, of course you can never assume but in my head I was like looks pretty good mm -hmm. you know what I mean I mean like it was us and then because I was with my cousin at least and then behind us were like maybe like 10 other people that were young maybe like and some of them were younger than us maybe like 19 20 year olds you know what I mean and so I'm like pretty looks pretty good we went to voting and then because after you vote there's something wrong with our machine like not that they stopped it or anything but like the paper just wouldn't go in properly so they had to like stall for a few minutes 
So basically, after we voted, we had because you have to put it, you have to put the paper in the Your, machine yourself, yourself, right? Yeah. So we were all waiting in line just to like put our paper. So after a while, like the line kind of got a bit long. So it was like, maybe an extra fifteen minutes, right? So anyway, so we had to like line up, and then eventually it became a zigzag line. You know, like when it's not just a straight, but like you have to go zigzag. Line. What happened was I overheard this person, this elderly woman, like, looks like a sweet old lady on my left. And then she was asking someone else like about instructions, something like that, you know what I mean? Like she was just talking to someone, but she was holding her, she was holding her ballot like really high. I looked, I took a glimpse at it and I noticed that the shade wasn't on Lenny. And it was on Marcos. So when I saw that, I was like, all right, real world. You know what I mean? I was just like, I had to acknowledge to myself that, okay, this person beside me looks like a sweet old lady, but is voting for someone I don't believe in. You know what I mean? Like, and it was a tough thing to swallow for me because I, I just thought, I felt so hopeful during that day. We had, we have dinner at like six, literally like two hours later, the number <laughs> the numbers are coming the out the numbers come out <laughs> and i'm like i'm like god come on man do yeah. something please you know what i mean i had a feeling that he would win right like it just it seemed to go that direction the majority and all that stuff but the numbers that it was so staggering that i was just i was shocked i thought that i thought that maybe it would be like 22 million to 20 million you know what I, mean? I i thought that that would be the number not 31 to what did I have like 16, 17? Like it just didn't feel right to me. So yeah, um, yeah, got depressed for a while, uh, a while after that. Yeah, I got depressed too. Oh, man, that was <laughs> I hated that. And and even till now, like I think about it, and there is a precedent. I don't know. <laughs> there is there a, is one. There I is just, a precedent. I don't like who it is. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so there. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> I feel like that event and the next six years, hopefully not, hopefully not six, but <laughs> the next coming years <laughs> is something to be to be to be remembered. I don't know, like yeah, uh, just sure. some. I have a feeling about it, like there something will happen. <laughs> something always happens. Something and always happens. We'll, it just depends on how big it's gonna be. And yeah. I, I'm curious about I'm curious about that. Yeah, and I'm I'm also curious about what how are we gonna be talking about this ten to twenty years from now or fifteen years from now? Like uh, how like Yeah, that's a thing. Like how are we gonna be talking about it? Are we even gonna be talking about it? Yeah, and like at the same time, can too. we even talk about it? Like, oh, that's different. yeah. No, but like at the same time, I feel we have to also recognize that uh, our worldview and our truth isn't the same for everyone. Yeah, definitely. So we might not be hurt, or you know, but that doesn't mean that other people won't be hurt. That means that doesn't mean that other people won't be affected. So I feel like there is that balance, not balance, but like there is that truth that it's yeah. gonna be tough. And we have to also hold on to the truth and the facts and that, you know what I mean? Just keep people accountable for yeah. what they're doing and who they are. I think for me, my main, my main like thing uh, I'm worried about really is the historical revisionism Yeah, that people, let's say he has an okay presidency. Let's just say that. All right. Th then people are going to say, Oh, then martial law didn't happen. People weren't, yeah, exactly. people weren't suffering. That's the part that irks me. Yeah. That's what I, yeah. I was saying. I don't want him to be right because if he's going to do right, then that's, that implies so many other things about our history, but I don't want him to be wrong because if he's because wrong, then suffer. we're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, I hate where we're at. Yeah, I, hate, I, hate, I, hate I, I really hate, I hate where it. we're at. <laughs> There is nuance that can happen. Yeah, there, right? is there is nuance. Hopefully that can happen. That he has a he has an okay presidency plus he plus we, we keep them accountable, right? Like that's the like please happen. Mm -hmm. Now can it happen? I don't know. Yet to be seen. But 
I don't know, man. I, I have no answer for you. And as, the, as of this recording, he's been president for what, like three days, four days? What day is it? It's four, July 4th. Oh, happy Independence Day, America. Yay, America. <laughs> Just take us back. I don't care, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't want that either. No, I, don't want I don't want that either. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> we don't want to be part of America either. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. You know, what, what's happen what happened what's happening to this world? Yeah. You know, I never thought I'd be that kind of person where I'd be saying, ano ba nangyayari sa buong mundong ito? <laughs> and then I'm just saying, what the hell is going on in this world, man? Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, is I, that, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know anymore. I don't know anymore. You have any last thoughts? Any last about election? About the election, yeah. Anyway, it happens. <laughs> it happened, everyone. It happened. No, I think okay. For me, um, I just think that if you're listening and you were part of campaigning, if you're part of the, you want to be part of the change, a big part of participating in governance is what happens after voting, and I think that. We yeah. sh that's what we shouldn't stop speaking out holding people accountable volunteering if you can and being part of this country so much more than just voting and shading a circle and i think that real and better change can still happen on the ground wherever we are if we decide to do so so i think i think that to, to end on that note i think it's just it can still happen good things can still happen right we yeah, it's, we it's not the end of the world even though you know it yeah it very much looks like it <laughs> looks like it looks like it oh yeah for me on a more personal note i need to be reading a lot more that's a, i think that's a good step i need to be yeah. i need to brush up on my on my martial law history you know if you think about like uh, it's just been 30 years right like it's, it's, that feels like forever ago like 30 40 yeah. years ago. but like it's it literally like it wasn't that long 40. ago. That's the thing. Fifty. Like people can be in their forties and experience this. fifty years. Old. Fifty years old. Yeah. Yeah. 50 right? years old. <laughs> yeah. If you think about it, like I need, even though it feels like a forever ago. Well, right? Not forty. Sorry, not forty. Fifty. Yeah, fifty. Yes. Fifty. <laughs> but my it's twenty twenty. Oh my gosh! I thought it was twenty ten. <laughs> All right, go on. And then, so on a more personal note, what I can do to sort of um, move things forward for me. Yeah. Is one to read more about martial law and to, to, to be more knowledgeable about their history and then to okay. see how we can apply um what we learn from that. So that's like how I can learn from that. That's one thing. Yeah. The second thing is to just be more critical about everything. That's good. Yeah. Like to just like reading the news. When when I hear something. I want to, be, and then I think you know, you know, I people say it's a fact. Like someone says it's a fact. I want to know it's a fact. Like I yeah. want to confirm that it that's is. That's good, right? Yeah. Like in number three, I just want to be kind. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's a good. That one. is the that's most good. important thing for me because you know I. And it's tough. Some, it's tough to be kind, and especially if it's with someone that you have disagreements with. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but. You know, everyone was so mean in the past yeah. election season. So I, I don't want to be part of part of that whole like train of like people just like shooting shit out of, you know, just yeah. like throwing shit at each other because at the end of the day we're under the same square area of That's... land, you know? <laughs> like we're I like that. I like that, yeah. So like I as much as I don't agree with their choices. I don't want to, and I don't agree with them. Yeah. I don't want to say, no, nah, oh, sure, I'll work together with you. And like everything's pushed away and like, yeah, yeah. Like you sacrifice all your, yeah, all beliefs. my beliefs. Yeah. No, I don't want to say, no, nah, I'm going to push everything away just so I can work with you. No. Yeah. But I'll respectfully tell you that I'm not interested. Okay. Right. If I, I really don't want, like, no, no, for sure. Yeah. If it's something you don't believe in, don't do it. Yeah, yeah, but I'm so. not gonna go and say you're wrong. I hate you. Go die. No, I'm yeah, not, yeah, I'm yeah. not. I'm not. I want to say I'm sorry. I'm not interested, and I hope that whatever you're doing can really help some people. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So that's that. That's that. <laughs> <laughs>